I'm Luke Groff. I work for Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. I'm a herpetologist with the, with the state. So as a herpetologist, I help understand um, the issues and the distribution of amphibians and reptiles. Here in the state, we have 11 snakes. Not all of them use the same habitats. You can find some snakes in aquatic habitats, so wetlands, say pond edges, reedy shores, things like that. You can find other snakes in open woodlands. All snakes here are what we call ectotherms, so they require sun and solar to sort of maintain or adjust their temperatures. So a lot of times we can look for basking areas such as rocks open to the sun, things like that. All right, so this is a common garter snake. This is by far our most common species in Vermont. Things to look for in this snake to identify it, you can see it's sort of got a dark head mm -hmm. and it can be dark green, black, and then you've got this, 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 this yellow stripe running down the, the, the center of the back and then it's flanked by two more stripes on the sides. But typically they're there and you can see as the snake bends, you can start to see some checkering between the, the top and the side stripes. And underneath it's sort of a plain cream, cumber, cream colored belly. They have keeled scales. So each one of these scales, if you look, if you can look really closely, um, each one of these scales has a ridge running the length of it. These guys occur a lot of places. So likewise, they'll eat a lot of things. Um, they'll eat frogs. They'll eat salamanders. They'll eat baby birds. They'll eat you know very you know small mammals. Basically, I consider them like gape limited predators. So if it fits, they'll eat it. I think one of the best ways to try and find reptiles and amphibians, especially snakes, is to focus on habitat edges. So the edges of wetlands, um, where the wetlands transitions into uplands. Forest edges, where they transition into meadows or fields. Those edges are, are pretty key for, for a lot of animals. Um, and also, amphibians or reptiles, especially snakes in general, like things messy. So if you see an open woodland forest, an open woodland area with um, lots of downed trees, down branches, rocks, things like that. Places where snakes can get in and hide and, and seek cover. That's probably where you're gonna find them. So think, think down trees, think old stone walls, places like that. So in general with amphibians and reptiles, especially snakes, they don't necessarily need to be handled to be appreciated. If, if you find an animal under a rock or under a log or you see one basking near a wetland, you know, it's just cool in itself to stand there and appreciate and see what it does on its own without, without your influence. So this is a, a water snake, a common water snake. This is probably our most aquatic snake in the state. Uh, and we can tell it's a water snake when it's younger. Um, it's got these bands, these blotches that sort of form bands. Um, it's got this beautiful belly with these red half moons. Um, the lips. They've got striped lips, as you can see. And uh, again, this one's got keels too, so it sort of looks rough in appearance. They're not found throughout the state. They're sort of found on the western edge of the state, associated with Lake Champlain and, and um, basins there. Often mistakenly identified as a venomous snake, maybe rattlesnakes here, maybe cottonmouths in other parts of the country. Um, so they're often killed over mistaking identity. You know, it's just a dark snake with these, with these sort of bands. Um, and you can see it's, the head's a little wide. It's, you know, it's, it's not as narrow as, you know, some other of our non-venomous snakes. So being tied to water, these guys will eat what's available to them. So I imagine, you know, frogs, fish, aquatic, insects, bugs, types of things. Uh, people have observed water snakes sort of herding fish and, and tadpoles towards the shore where they can get a bunch of them at once. And importantly, these guys will eat, you know, they're, they're carnivores, but they're also scavengers, so they will eat dead and diseased fish. So that actually is, uh, you know, a boon for fishermen. It's true, snakes get a bad rap. Um, you know, they're, they're unusual. They have these long, legless, tubular bodies. They're not something we typically see. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of weird, and weird things not always are appreciated, but snakes are a critical member of our ecosystem and our food webs here in Vermont and elsewhere. They, um, the main benefit of snakes is that they're pest controllers, so they eat the things that you typically don't want. 